I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric integrals. In number 15, we'd like to evaluate the integral of sine squared x times cosine squared of x dx. All right, so um, in this problem, I have a sine of x and it's raised to an even power and I have a cosine of x that's also raised to an even power. So since they're both raised to an even power, I need to use half angle identities on these guys to simplify this integral. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace sine squared of x by uh, its half angle identity form, uh, which is 1 minus cosine of 2x divided by 2. That's the same thing as sine squared of x. Cosine squared of x also has a half angle identity form of 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2. Uh, all of that dx. Okay, so I've just rewritten the integral using the half angle identities. Uh, the next thing that I think I'll do is let's just get these halves out of the integral and write it out front as a one-fourth. So I have one-fourth the integral of one minus cosine of 2x times one plus cosine of 2x dx. Now we can multiply this out. Um, I still have my one-fourth out front and I have an integral of one times one is 1, and then I get 1 times cosine of 2x, and I get 1 times negative cosine of 2x. Those two terms will cancel. And then I get negative cosine of 2x times cosine of 2x, which is minus cosine squared of 2x dx. All right. So now that I have it in this form, uh, I can ask the question, now can I take the antiderivative? And the answer is, well, not quite. I know how to take the antiderivative of 1, but we don't know how to take the antiderivative of cosine squared of 2x. But we do know that when I have a cosine raised to an even power, I should use a half angle identity. So let's use a half angle identity again on cosine squared of 2x uh, and put it in a form that I can take an antiderivative of. So what I'm going to do is let's rewrite. I still have the 1 fourth times the integral of 1 minus, and now using half angle identity for cosine, I get that this should be 1 plus cosine of double this angle. So remember when I uh, took half angle identity of cosine squared of x, I get a 2x. When I do a half angle identity of cosine squared of 2x, I double the 2x to get a 4x over 2. All of that dx. OK, let me simplify that just a little bit. I get a 1 fourth integral of, I've got, if I split this into two fractions, I get 1 minus 1 half minus cosine of 4x over 2 dx. Of course, I can combine the 1 and the minus 1 half into just a half. So I get 1 fourth integral of 1 half minus cosine of 4x over 2 dx. Now I can just take the antiderivative. I still have the 1 fourth out front. Antiderivative of 1 half is 1 half x. And the antiderivative of cosine of 4x uh, is sine of 4x, but then I need to divide by 4 to account for the chain rule. And so I get minus sine of 4x over, when I divide by 4, multiply that by 2, I get an 8 and plus a constant. 
Now I could multiply through by this 1 fourth and I will be done. Uh, 1 fourth times 1 half, I get 1 eighth x minus 4 times 8 is 32, so I get sine of 4x over 32 plus c. And we are done.